Hello. Welcome to the TV room. David Bradley here. All right. So I have this 64 here. And I will turn it on. I have not done surgery on it yet. It comes. Okay. So I'm going to try a cartridge in it. And this one is something magical that a fellow gave me last year at the World of Commodore. It's called Bradley's Basic. It is Programmer's Reference Guide. It is a cartridge. Now, of course, with any cartridge, we never turn it on. Matthew Desmond, 2023. Factor of Matt.com. Never put a cartridge in when the computer is on. Turn it off. And there it is. Commodore 64 Basic version 2 Plus. And look, it comes up in the configuration that I would like with a black screen and white letters. It also is a little bit shorter on RAM. It is. So it's got. Basically, this is got a whole bunch of basic four commands. There it is. Matthew Desmond, factor of math. Let's see here. I don't think I have. Anything kind of, so basically that's basic core commands. So I could do a catalog. Oh, I guess I have to the right key. The device not present. Indeed, the device is not present. But it does seem to be working just fine. I will do more with this. I mean meaning to do more with this. I have. But for this moment, and the computer is off, I think. I mean, I'm testing the cartridge port, but because the diagnostics work, we know that the cartridge port works. <laughs> Here is Omega Race for the Commodore 64, which, from what I remember, the VIC-20 version is better. But what we're really trying to do is test to see if the joystick port works. Yes. Why is that doing that? It's acting like I'm pressing F5. Okay. That's weird. What's going on here? Aha! See? It should not be doing this. Oh, okay. Hang on. I think what I have here is the joystick is in the wrong port. And we've gone to the demo. Okay. At least I think we, okay. No, no, no. Okay, I'm in the game, but nothing is happening. Okay, hang on. I hate doing this, but I'm going to turn it on and off. Something did not go well there. Okay. F1. Okay. I'm going to press fire. Also, I don't know if this joystick works. Okay. F1. Joystick. Okay. We're going nowhere. Maybe this joystick does not work. Maybe it does need to be 
Oh, there we are. Okay. Something is weird here. I'm just kidding. I'm dead. Okay, so I'm spinning. Oh, shot that one by luck. Yeah, this is weird. Okay, so this joystick may be ruined. Boom. All right. Well, that is, or it could be, this could in fact be the symptoms of exactly what the. Uh, Get another joystick. This could be exactly the symptoms of a bad 6526 chip. Okay, we're gonna yank this joystick out. And we stop spinning. I'm gonna put this one in. Okay, so, wow, a weaker joystick. It has issues. Let's see if we can get that sucker out. Nope. Okay. Got that sucker. Okay, we have cleared that. Well, that. Wow, that was a horrible barrage of nothing. Woohoo, we cleared the second. Oh, am I done? Game over. Okay, well, that is weird. I don't know. that I've ever had a Wiko joystick be dead like that. All right, let's try it again. We'll put it in. Immediately, we're spinning. I'm going to work it around. But we're spinning. So definitely. And we're going to die. So definitely something is wrong in here. Something's very, very wrong. And we're going to die. And we're going to. Oh, look at that. We made it through. Oh, man. 
And we're going to die. Game over. Well, that is interesting. I maybe not at this juncture. Actually, it looks like a screw or two is missing. I don't think this will fit in here. I don't think I've ever had to take one of these apart. Interesting. Well, things happen. I mean, this joystick is probably, you know, 40 years old. But maybe. You know what? I think I had another one that was kind of stuck to one side, but it was obviously like it had been sitting in a box and stuck. There, so that's what's inside. A Wico joystick. I have never, never looked in one of these before. Oh, I wonder. Could it just be dirty? No, I don't think so. So there's all these finger things in here. One would think... But somehow or another. Oh yeah. But some of the fingers are loose or squirrely. Or I mean, actually it looks like they're all unpluggable. So it may just be that one of the the switches, because that's what they are. They're switches. They've all got little connectors on them. I'm just looking to see if any of the connectors have slipped off. That too would cause potential issues. But it doesn't look like any are. Hmm. Well, now that we... Oh, we're still turned on. I did not realize that. Oh. Okay, so this is weird. Now, we're not moving. But if I move it this way... Oh, now I'm moving. We're not turning. Well, one thing I see in here... Is this thing in here that holds it, or that, you know, does the, um, I guess the movement thing, it's really dirty. I don't know if that would make any difference. Maybe it's also, ah, okay, it's pushed up a bit. Okay, it may be that it really does like having the bottom on it. I don't know. Which way is which? Well, I imagine I've got it backwards right now. Hang on. Let's try and push this back in place. Even though it's not screwed in. Let's get that. Yeah. Uh. 
is weird. Okay. Okay, we're still spinning. Get me. Oh, I don't know. Well, something is weird. Well, I wish that's not auto fire, but it doesn't. I'm going round and round and round. I go. I got oh, there. I'm dead. All right. Well, there's another project. We're still spinning. What happens if I lift this off? Still Oh, I see. That's the fire thing. Alright, well, definitely, at some point, I will do more explanations into, or ex explorations into this joystick. But that... is not now. Just all these little contacts. Something. Oh, well, maybe something has. Hmm? I just don't know. Very mysterious. Oh, you see how things always take longer. Always longer. There's always something else that we do not anticipate. Okay. Oh, something. It is missing a screw, but I can't see how missing a screw. I mean, it's horrible to be missing a screw, but I can't see how that would affect anything. It does seem that perhaps. Um, but maybe, uh, possibly, maybe, um, one of the little things in there has gone a little funny, which would, of course, mean, oh, where's the Sharpie when you need one? What about here? I thought I had Sharpies. It's like everything. You can always find it. When, oh, there. Oh. All right, I'm going to write on the bottom of this. Bins. So it could just be that one of the little modules in there is just effective. But it is strange how it changed when I did take the bottom off. That is very strange. Anyway. The Commodore 64 does work with a cartridge. And it works with a joystick. Except this joystick 
is weird. Very, very weird. Uh, anyway, I will get more into the Bradley's basic. I've been meaning to. This thing's happening. Also, it comes in. There's a chip that I could put in the machine. There is. All right. Put that there. We're going to go off the air. And we'll see you again back in the TV room. I know I got to get to unsoldering. Got to figure out what. I, you know what? It's not bad. But clutter is starting. And I must put a stop to this. I must. I must. I must stop it. Anyway, thanks for coming. Have a lovely, lovely day. If you've ever had eco joystick troubles, let me know. Let me know what you. What was broken? What was defective? Very strange. Very, very strange. I shall ponder this. Anyway, thank you for coming. Have a lovely day. We'll see you again as I start, as I do surgery on this and ultimately on this. And I keep this whole space tidy. Bye for now.